Hi everyone, this is Miles from Quadcopter Land, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Normally I upgrade the firmware on the Phantom 4 Pro from the GGI Go 4 app, but today I'm actually going to be doing it with the Assistant 2 on the actual PC here, and you can also do it on a Mac. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a demonstration on how to do that, and they just released the latest firmware update a couple days ago, so we're going to go ahead and install that. It's only on the Phantom 4 Pro, just the bird itself. is. It is not on the actual remote. So today we're not going to be doing any upgrades on the remote. It's just going to be on the Phantom 4 Pro bird itself. So let's go ahead and get that started. Let me show you where you're going to go first to download the Assistant 2. And then I'm going to show you how to go ahead and start the firmware update process once you get the Assistant 2 on your computer. So let's go ahead and get that started. All right, the first thing you're going to do is go to your search engine, whatever you like to use, Google or Yahoo, whatever you like to use. Type in DJI, and then you're going to come down here. Okay, click on their website. You're going to go up here to Drones on the upper left-hand side. You're going to choose Phantom 4 Pro. Just scroll up just a little bit, and you're going to come down here. It's going to say Downloads. So you're going to go to Downloads right here. Click on the Downloads, and then right here, for PC, I'm using the PC, we're going to download the DJI Assistant 2. We're going to use the EXE file. Go ahead and click on that. We're going to go ahead and download the file. And once we download the file, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and then we're going to run the DJI 2 Assistant. All right, you should see this install screen once you uh, get it downloaded onto your PC. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and click Finish. All right, I've got the DJI Assistant 2 downloaded on my PC. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. So it's right here at the bottom, the lowest app on the left. We'll go ahead and open it up. Let's go ahead and make it a little bigger. Now it's going to ask you to go ahead and plug in the bird, but you also want to log into your account before you go ahead and start the update. So let's go ahead and log into the account next. All right. Now logging in. Now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and start up the power up on the Phantom 4 and we're going to have to power up the remote and we're going to plug the Phantom 4 Pro directly up to the PC. So I'm going to show you guys that next. Alright guys, now we're going to go to the next step which is actually turning on the Phantom 4 Pro and turning on the remote and we're going to connect the Phantom 4 Pro directly up to the PC and then it's going to give you some prompts. And I'm going to show you those prompts on how to go ahead and get the firmware started. So let's go ahead and get that going. Before you start the firmware update, just like on the DJI Go app, when you do it on the PC, same thing. It's got to be 100% charged. The Phantom 4 and the PC. As you can see on the screen up here, I'm going to turn on the remote. It's fully charged. I'm going to turn it on the Phantom 4 Pro. Before I turn it on, take the gimbal off. Turn it on the Phantom 4 Pro right now. That's also 100% charged. Now as far as my PC, it's plugged in so I don't have to worry about that. But you do not want to interrupt any of the uh, updates while it's updating the bird because you can break it and then you have to send it back and you don't want that to happen. So let me go ahead and plug in the Phantom 4 into the computer and show you guys exactly what that looked like. Alright guys, I've got the Phantom 4 Pro running. I've got the actual remote as you can see right here it's running what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your USB into your computer here and then you're also going to plug this one into the side of the bird so we're going to go ahead and plug that up and you should hear a prompt on the computer so we're going to go ahead and allow access and you should see this P 4P here at the top. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and show you guys what that looked like. Alright, this is what your screen should look like. And right up here, you're going to see the P4P. Go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to load up. And then you're going to see all your firmwares right here. The latest one was right here on the 11th of January. And right now it says my current firmware is 0.1.0203. The new one we need to have is 01.02.0304. .02 .03 
that's the newest version so we're gonna go ahead and start the upgrade and you gotta remember the PC is plugged directly to the Phantom 4 and the battery is 100% charged so we're gonna go right here to the upgrade and we're gonna start the upgrade and it's gonna take a couple minutes this will take up to at least 30 minutes as you guys can see right here it is doing the update the LED right here next to the USB is flashing red and green that means it's in the middle of update the whole bird is getting reflashed right now with the new firmware do not unplug any cores during the update do not power down the bird during the update because if you do you will break it and you have to send it back to DJI so do not interrupt the update and make sure your battery once again is fully charged to 100% before you attempt an update because it could take as long as 30 minutes. We are now currently at 48% on the final part of the update process. This is tedious. It could take a long time. Just be patient and your firmware will do just great. Just to let you guys know, we are not updating the remote. Once again, we're just doing the bird. This update is only for the bird. Right now we're at 86 percent. It's about to wrap it up. Now it's at 92 percent. We're almost there. I know the updates are tedious, but you have some patience. It'll be a lot better off. We're almost there. 96 percent. I know you guys can hear the fan in the background. It's not that noisy as the old ones used to be, but uh, still got a little noise. It just restarted. And the aircraft is rebooting right now, as you can see on the screen. Right now, still at 99%. So it's almost done. We just hit 100%. Now, what we need to do is Verified on your tablet or your cell phone that has been updated. So that's us go ahead and do that next. All right, we just finished the update. We're going to go ahead and power down the Phantom 4. Hit the button once. Hit it again. And hit the remote. Hit it once. Hit it again. Turn it off. Go ahead and plug the Phantom 4. Go ahead and set up our tablet or our cell phone, whatever we're using. I use a Samsung tablet. I haven't had any problems with it, but that's what I normally use. We're going to go ahead and uh, get it all set back up, and we're going to verify that the update went through just fine. So go ahead plug this up and get this going. All right, go ahead and turn on the Phantom, uh, the Phantom 4 remote first, Phantom 4 Pro remote first, and then uh, go ahead and turn on the bird. I'm going to verify that the update went through. So that's what we're checking right now. It looks like everything updated just fine. I'm going to have to take her out and see how it goes. But I checked the latest firmware, latest firmware update here on my tablet and it looked like everything's okay. We'll go ahead and test out the gimbal. Look like everything's moving up and down just fine. We'll go ahead and turn on the motors. Looks like the motors are turning on just fine. Definitely don't want to do this without the propellers. <laughs> go ahead and shut that back down. So it looks like everything's A-OK. -okay. I'm going to go ahead and take her out for a flight tomorrow. But uh, it looks like everything upgraded just fine. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh, got all the information you need as far as how to update with the Assistant 2. If you guys have any comments or questions, please uh, leave those below. And if you like what I showed you today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good night.